Hey, welcome back. On this video, we'll go over creating Toast notifications for our expenses front end project. The link to the repo will be in the description below. These Toast notifications will pop up whenever we add, delete, or edit an expense, providing a better user experience. To accomplish this, we'll create a middleware and use an NPM package called React Toastify. Middlewares are very useful if used properly, and I can't wait to show you how to get started with them. With that said, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. So we're going to be working with React Toastify. You can check it out at npmjs.com slash package slash react dash Toastify. I have used it in other projects and it's really easy to use. Let's go ahead and copy the install command and go to our project. Back to our computer, I have opened the expenses front end project in Visual Studio Code. And now I'm going to click on terminal, new terminal, and I'm going to paste that command in here. Hit enter. It should finish after a few seconds. And now that we have it installed, we can do a quick little test with it to make sure we know how to use it before we get into putting it inside our middleware. With that said, let's go ahead and open expand source and open up app.js. And in here, we're going to add the toast container. So let's start with, we can put it inside here. We can do toast container. All right. And let's make sure we import this. All right, and this is the first step. The Toast container is the one that has the actual visual notification. The second step will be to actually trigger this notification. So let's do that. We can try to do that in one of our reducers. So let's open up app and open expenses slice. In here, we can import toast from React Toastify. And we can do a test in set expenses. We can say toast that success. Say this is a test. Put a semicolon here. I want to save this file. Now calling this function will trigger our toast notification. And before we run our program and test this out, let's head over to index.js and let's make sure we import the CSS for this. With that, we should be able to start our application and be able to see the toast notification pop up. So I'll do an NPM start. And as soon as the page loads up, we should see this notification here. Now we can go back and add all of the messages for our toast notifications on our reducers, but a more clean way to do this is to create middleware that is responsible for doing that. Redux middleware provides a third party extension point between dispatch and action and the moment it reaches the reducer. And they're very commonly used in features like this one. Basically middlewares form a pipeline. Whenever we do a dispatch, we're actually calling the first middleware in the pipeline. Typically the middleware will check the action type just like the reducer does. If there's a match, the middleware will run that code block and then pass the action to the next middleware in the pipeline. Let's go ahead and start writing our middleware and I'll be explaining more as we go. Let's go ahead and create a folder under source called middlewares. This is where all the middlewares are going to be at. And in here, let's create a toast middleware.js file. Now middlewares are written as a series of three nested functions. And let me show you how this looks like. So let's do const toast middleware. And then right here, we can pass in the store. In our case, we don't really need it. But this returns a function that takes a next. And I'll explain what that is in a second, which in turn returns a function that takes an action. All right, so from the top, we have our toast middleware. We have this outer function that returns these um, bundle functions inside. And we're not currently passing any parameters to it. The middle function receives a function called next. And this is actually the next middleware in the pipeline. And finally, the inner function receives the current action. This is ES6 syntax for those of you not familiar with it. Now that we have going over this, the next important thing we have to do is make sure we return a call to the next middleware. And we do that by doing return next and we pass in the action. That way the next middleware in the pipeline can execute its code. And now we can start writing our middleware. We can do a switch by action type 
And depending on the case, we can do a different message. For that, we'll have to import our actions. So we can do import new expense, edit expense, and delete expense. This will be from app expenses slice. Also, we'll have to import toast from react toastify. Now we can go ahead and do the switch, switch action type. And the case is a new expense that type. We can do toast that success. New expense added successfully. Let's make sure we have a break. Case is an edit expense. All right, and do a break. And same for the next one. We'll do case, delete expense. Expense deleted successfully. So we break. And let's do our default break. And let's go ahead and export default. Our toast middleware. Okay, so all we have to do now is hook it up. So let's go over to store.js. And in here, we're going to append our toast middleware to the middlewares. Let's start off by importing our middleware. We can do import toast middleware from middlewares toast middleware. Now this object has uh, middlewares and we're going to get the default middlewares and add our toast middleware to it. We do that by doing this. So we do middleware and we get the default middleware. We do get default middleware and we add this one. Okay. Let's go back to expense to slice and clean this up. We can get rid of this. Save that file. And let's go back to our browser. Okay, so back on our browser, let's try to add something. Let's say credit card 55. Let's add it. And we see new expense added successfully. This is great. Let's edit this to be 56. Save and edit it successfully. And finally, let's do delete. And there it is. Expense did it successfully. Really, really cool. So everything is working as expected. So one thing we can do to make this better is add some toast notifications for errors as well. Back at our code, we're going to create some actions. These actions will be specifically for errors. Our toast middleware will be checking for those and we'll notify the user this way. Let's go ahead and import create action. And up here we can do export const set expenses error. And then do create action. We'll say we can just copy this set expenses error. Let's create three more for new expense, edit expense, and delete expense. So export const new expense error, create action. We can just copy this. New expense. Not new expense, <laughs> edit expense. There you go. Last one will be delete expense. Let's 
Now let's go to our services and make sure we dispatch those. Let's make sure we import them. Oops. Okay, and now we can just dispatch it. Dispatch. Set expenses there. We can do the same for these. Dispatch new expenser. Dispatch edit expense error. Lastly, dispatch delete expense error. Let's make sure we go back to Toast Middleware and add these. So we have the case set expenses error that type. We're going to do a toast error and say error loading expenses. Let's do a break. Do case new expense error. You can say toast that error. Error adding new expense. Case edit expense error. We can say um, error editing expense. And lastly, case delete expense error. We can say toast that error. Error deleting expense. Let's make sure they are imported and they got automatically imported for me. Oh, we don't need this. All right, save this file and go back to the browser. So we're back at the browser and what I did is shut down the backend service that it was running. And right here we have an error loading expenses. Okay, so I ran the backend service just to load the expenses and then I shut it down. We're gonna try to add something. Let's try to add something. And we see error adding new expense. Same if we try to delete it. I just clicked on it. There you go. Deleting expense error. And if we try to edit this, we should see a edit error. There you go. Error editing expense. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. I really hope you all found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one.